how becoming a mum has made me more ambitious. I recently decided, as I am pushing 40, that it was about time I switched to Radio 4. I was rewarded with a brilliant Woman's Hour interview with the singer Jessie Ware, who had her first child last year. She talked about how becoming a mother had actually made her more ambitious because she wanted to prove to her doubters that she wouldn't give up on her career after having a baby. It's something I, as a mom of three young children and a freelance journalist, can very much relate to. While Jessie, who has just released her third album, Glasshouse, might dream of packing out the O2 and co-writing a song with Mark Ronson, my aspirations are, however, somewhat more modest. Whereas before having children I felt as though I was somewhat pigeonholed as a trade journalist for business titles, writing about parenthood has opened up a whole new world of consumer journalism. I have also, to a certain extent, lost that acute sense of rejection and failure, if an editor does not go for my idea, I will pitch it to someone else. In the last few years, I've ticked off writing for several of the major glossies in four national newspapers, although Tatler and Harper's Bazaar remain something of a pipe dream. I've turned down this morning, which sadly clashed with a family funeral, and been interviewed by the fabulous Vanessa Feltz on her BBC radio breakfast show. I can hear my mother's voice in my head telling me to stop showing off so I'll leave it there. I've also done something I said I'd never do, become an intermittent and somewhat cliched mummy blogger. This actually led me to meet a whole host of inspirational women and a hugely supportive online community. I've met quite a few of them in person and have had three of my posts published in the brilliant mother book, sold in John Lewis. But being a mother hasn't just opened up more opportunities for me. Before having children, I thought that I would be quite happy being a stay-at-home mom who wrote the odd article and focused primarily on my children. These are the baby names that are predicted to be the most popular in 2018. Should I have another baby even though I done in number 039, T want one? Why we don't need to ban sleeping beauty in schools? I thought that motherhood would be my main occupation and work would take a back seat. But I have actually found that becoming a mum has given me more drive and a need to prove myself. I don't want to disappear under a mound of washing and I want to show my children that I also have a career. I kept my maiden name for work when I got married because I wanted to retain a sense of identity and self. My work gives me a sense of freedom and forces me to use my brain and think about things outside of my role as a mum. It has also become increasingly important to me to keep the momentum going to help assuage the relentless demands of motherhood, school run, homework constant questions etc. I still think that being a stay-at-home mother is one of the most important and rewarding roles in the world, but my job has given me some much-needed independence, income and identity. More, 13 tips for starting a new job. More, 10 things that will help you get back into work if you've been off with a mental illness. More, how to stop being too nice and start getting what you want.